This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by nhliberty.org Mr. Swett, I have a yes. question for you. It's yeah. uh, Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. You're going to have to take a Bob Bill <laughs> hand from me. <laughs> um, my question is uh, re with regard to, uh, it's, actually, it's actually unrelated to this. I'm just thinking about the, the United States. You, you were ambassador a while back, is that right? To Denmark, yes. Okay, what back when? 98 to 2001. Okay, so you were ambassador when the United States foreign policy was very different. And now it seems like it's perceived as the evil empire. What's changed since you were ambassador? Has well, the country I gotten evil? No, the country's not gotten even that evil. Actually, I was there during the Kosovo War, and we were one of two embassies that were attacked by the Serbian community in Denmark, and they literally did a, uh, about $500,000 worth of damage to the, uh, to the embassy itself. But the problem is, is that we are no longer engaging with countries on developing their economies and developing their markets. What we're doing is, is we're engaging purely on a military basis. And I think it's going to be absolutely necessary to look at the Marshall Plan, employ that kind of investment, and build those kinds of relationships that are built on partnerships in investment, as opposed to just going in with the military with no exit plan, no um, thinking through how we're going to rebuild a society once we've uh, militarily um, stopped the, the problem that we've perceived to be coming from that society. So those are things that we have to do. I'm glad the Chetnik sympathizers didn't hurt you, but um, uh, it just seems like the way of warfare that is waged by the United States now is very different from what it was in the 1990s when someone like me could support it. Uh, well, it, it's, it's now preemptive action. Is that causing a lot of problems for you and the ambassadorial community? I know you're out now, but... Well, we uh, actually, I, I just wrote an article about uh, uh, the, the uh, assassination of uh, Chris Stevens, who was actually someone who did work with the Libyans, much like I was just describing. Very proactive on development side, um, had a tremendous relationship with that community, but the problem is that you can't take for granted that that's going to provide you security and safety. And so if you think you have good relationships, there's always one individual who can come in, or in this case, a, a group of individuals, who came in armed with weapons and did the dastardly deed and took his life. Even when the aid is supposedly humanitarian, it's still funded by tax dollars, it's still stolen from me, is even that right? Well, look, you want an investment that has a return. So if it opens markets so that you can work in a job that sends uh, widgets over to that new market or that you can purchase um, more um, higher quality material or, or better uh, uh, components for your um, work that you're doing here, that's when it's uh, a good win-win situation for everybody. If we're just sending money overseas and, uh, and we get nothing back from that, then you're right, then it isn't a good investment. But, but we should be making strategic investments that improve our economic economic capabilities here at home. Well, last I checked, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think Switzerland does any of that, and they don't have any of the problems that they have, and they have plenty of trade. That's right, and Switzerland also has no impact on world peace, and uh, some would say that during the Second World War, when they harbored a lot of the uh, gold and, and uh, finance of the, of the Nazis, that they uh, helped to contribute to those I problems. I tell you so, what, I think an so American you know, official has a lot more to answer for than a Swiss official about the handling of World War II. Well, I think... At least they didn't bomb huge cities to death. Well, we yeah. may have a difference of opinion, but I think the United States saved the world with uh, what we did in World War II. I'm not arguing against that okay. reality, but I appreciate your time. Okay, thank you. All right, nice take care. Good to meet you. Okay, bye-bye. New Hampshire's State House, among the least bad governing institutions on Earth. But even here, legislators plot theft and destruction. However, they don't do it without opposition. The New Hampshire Liberty Alliance stands in their path and stands ready to train you in the ways of the Citizen Freedom Lobby. Visit nhliberty.org to get involved.